Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jules. Today we are going to be trying a bunch of new products to create a holiday smoky eye nude lip. Well, not nude lip. It's actually going to be a bold lip with a smoky eye. You're probably wondering why I'm not sporting the makeup now, but I went to go do my editing and realized that somehow my camera did not record the initial intro. So this is the next day, and so I'm filming the intro just so there would be a segue into the actual demonstration portion of the makeup part of this video. So if you would like to see how I create the smoky holiday type look that you saw in the thumbnail, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, guys, today for eyeshadow, I'm gonna be going in with this new one that I just picked up from ColourPop. It is called Smoke Show. Look how pretty the packaging is. This one is a palette that's full of just blacks, grays, charcoals. Comes with a nice size mirror. Then here are the shadows. Look how beautiful those are. You've got a range of black, silvers, and grays, and even a white in there. I don't know, I just thought that this was unique from anything that I've ever seen. I've never seen this color story in a palette before, and so I thought that that would be fun to play with and to have. So first, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and prime up my lids with my P. Louise eyeshadow base, going in with the shade Rumor 4. And because this palette doesn't have a crease shade, like a brown type tone. I brought a couple of my other palettes with me to see what transition shade that I could use. So I was thinking about either going in with this shade right here from the Metropolis palette, or maybe the transition shade from the KKW palette right here. I think I'm gonna go in with the one from the KKW palette. So I'm just gonna go in with a crease fluffy eye brush right here. This is one that I picked up from Costco years ago and it's called the Crease Eye Brush. And it's just a big, nice, fluffy brush. So I'm just quickly building a transition here for the actual shades that I wanna build on top of this. Okay, so next I think I'm gonna take this new brush that I recently picked up from Morphe. It's called the R41 but it's more of a concentrated shape on the brush. And so I wanna take that and build my crease with this gray shade, it's called Slated. So I just wanna take that shade with this brush and concentrate it right where the crease would actually start. So right in this area. That has some really nice pigment to it for a gray. Usually I feel like grays just kind of disappear on me, but this one has really nice pigmentation. So I'm just taking the brush and moving the product around slightly, not too much. Just want to focus it there in the crease and staying on this outer part of the eye. Okay, so now I want to continue to build this smoky effect that I have going on. So I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade in the palette, which is called Let's Do It. And it's just a nice, rich black shade. I don't have my 217 down here, my MAC 217 brush. So I think I'm gonna to continue to just build with the same crease brush right here. Let's just see. If I have to run up and get it, I will. So I'm just gonna do that stamping motion I'm just stamping the product there in the corner and kind of fluffing it out a little bit. Okay, so I decided I did need my 217, so I did run up and grab that. Okay, so now moving in with my 242 from MAC, I think I'm gonna go into Ignite, which is this sparkly shade right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over the middle part of the lid. That's so pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. So I'm just taking that into the dark shade and blending in the edges. And then I'm gonna go into Stone Face, which is this lighter gray right here. 
Going in with the same brush, I'm gonna turn it around and use the other side. So I'm gonna build that into, and let me tap that off. I'm gonna build that into the very corner. Just creating kind of a gradient effect. Okay, now I think I want to go into smoking, which is this beautiful, it's like a granite type of a shade, but it's got sparkle to it. So I think I'm gonna pick that one up with my finger for maximum payoff and press that onto the lid. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go in with the brightest glittery shade, which is Starstruck. And I think I'm gonna press that right into the inner corner. I'm gonna blend the edges of those two together. And I'm gonna go back in with my 217 and just deepen up that outer corner a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that first brush and go back into that first crease shade from the KKW So Fire palette. And I'm just going to blend these edges here at the top. Then I'm gonna go into this taupe shade right here from the KKW palette and just go right up top right here. So I think eyes are done for now. I just realized I'm probably going to need a nice black liner to go in the waterline. So I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna have to grab that at some point. But let's move on into foundation. I'm gonna be trying the Studio Fix Soft Matte Foundation Stick from MAC today. I picked this up recently from Macy's. They were having a 15% off uh, sale in beauty. So this is something that I've been wanting to try, so I figured this would be the perfect time to pick it up. The shade that I'm in is NW45. We're gonna see how well it works. I was kind of in between an NC and an NW45. The NW seemed like it was a better match. All right guys, here's the deal. So I went to edit the video today and noticed that somehow my foundation application portion of the video didn't record. So it is the next day. Just got out of the shower and I figured I would go ahead and do the foundation application just so this part can also be inserted into the video. So I figured while my hair dried a little bit, uh, I would go ahead and apply the foundation. I've already prepped my skin like I normally do. I don't have the eyeshadow on today. I'm just gonna do the foundation application just so you can see it. So I am going in with the Studio Fix Soft Matte Foundation Stick by MAC. And the color that I'm in is NW45. Um, I've already prepped my skin as far as sunblock. I went in with the MAC Skin Base Visage for my primer. And then I went ahead with my Tarte Timeless Soothing Primer, Timeless Smoothing Primer. Went ahead and filled in the pores. I didn't do my color corrector. I'm just gonna go ahead and just go in with the foundation. So the way that I did it yesterday is I basically just drawed it onto my face and went on into one side of my face with my total face sponge and went in with a brush on the other side. I know this looks like a lot, but I discovered yesterday as I was filming the video that this has very light coverage. So I've already dampened my total face sponge from e.l.f. I'm gonna go ahead and just start working this in on one side of my face. Yesterday it looked like, and you can also tell just by looking at my face, that the foundation does look a little dark and a little red for my skin tone, but NC45 was gonna be way too light, I think. So I think with highlighting the skin with concealer, I think I'll be okay. Okay, so that's one application with the sponge. Now I'm gonna go in with the brush on the other side 
and I'm going to be using the Smashbox Blurring Foundation Brush for this side. Yesterday I used um, a new brush from IT Cosmetics. It's a blurring foundation brush, but of course that one's dirty today, so I'm going in with this one. So I kind of feel the same way that I did yesterday as far as using the brush. I feel like the sponge had a little bit more coverage. So looking at this side versus this side, to me I feel like the sponge did a much better job. There's still some bare spots over here and I can try to go back in with another layer there. Still feel like the sponge did a better job. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off this side with the sponge as well. So I'm finding the same as I did yesterday in that you can apply multiple layers of this foundation stick and it doesn't look cakey and it does not feel heavy. So it's a very lightweight formula. I know it looks like I'm putting on a lot of product, but it's just a really lightweight formula. I'm trying to get even coverage. Okay, I think it looks good for the most part. Like I usually do, I like a little bit of extra coverage here in the mouth area. So I'm gonna go in with one more layer. Okay, I think that looks good. Uh, first impressions, well, it's not really first impressions, but for the second day in a row of using this product, I do feel like it does give you some good coverage. You're able to wear it in a lightweight way if you want to. You also have the option of building it up without it looking cakey or feeling heavy on the face. So I am, Liking it for the second day around, I'm going to go ahead and finish off everything else so I can come back and do the intro for this video, but um, I'm going to go ahead and cut back to the regular part of the video. Alright guys, I'm back. I went ahead and set my face, bronzed the face a little bit. Now let's move on into the next new product that I'm featuring today, and that is going to be highlights. Look at these beautiful new highlighters that Nabla Cosmetics recently released. These are a glass skin finish glow powder. So beautiful. I wasn't sure which shade was going to work best for me. So I went ahead and picked up both of them. One is called Lucent Jungle. This is a really deep bronzy gold. And then this one is called Amnesia. And this one is a brighter gold. So not sure which one that I'm going to go with. I guess I'll try one on each cheek. But the packaging is just a plastic outer packaging and I'm gonna go ahead and break into this really quickly. So the outer packaging is just like an acrylic plastic, but a really nice acrylic. And then here is the highlighter. Isn't that just gorgeous? That one was Amnesia. And then this one is Lucent Jungle. Look how pretty that is. Can't wait to try these. So here's Lucent Jungle, and then Amnesia is much brighter. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to gravitate towards. We'll just try them both. So I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia 823 brush and first pick up Amnesia. Oh, that is so pretty. So definitely not like an in-your-face bling, but it just makes the skin glow. That is so pretty. Seems like you can build them up to be a little bit more in your face, but still not an intense like glittery type of highlighter. It's definitely more of what it's described as and that it's like a glass skin finish, which is exactly what it looks like. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I should have done the darker one first. I'm going to go ahead and just even myself out on both sides. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this highlighter. Usually with most highlighters, it leaves like a separation line of where the highlight starts and where it stops. And I hate that. I always have to go back in and blend that in with a sponge. This is not doing that. I mean, it's just melting into the skin. That is so, so beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, now I'm gonna go on top of that with Lucent Jungle. Probably should have done, done it the opposite way, but oh well. Let's see. 
I think Lucent Jungle is more of my skin tone and Amnesia is just a brighter pop, I guess, for me. I'm gonna have to try out Lucent Jungle on its own one day and see how that looks by itself and I'll definitely leave you an update of how that is. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a new blush that I picked up from ColourPop. This one is called Quarters. I have been looking for the perfect peachy blush and I cannot find one that matches my skin tone. I really wanted to pick up the Patrick Ta blushes. Originally when I went into Sephora, they only had the lighter two peach shades or maybe it was a lighter peach shade. The darker peach shade was only online, but when I recently went in, they actually had both peach shades there. Neither one was going to be dark enough for my skin tone. So I was really bummed that I wasn't gonna be able to try either of those out. So then I picked up Deep Throat by NARS because it was similar, still too light. I tried it the other day, still too light for my skin. So I'm hoping that this shade right here, I swatched it. You can tell that I swatched it. But this one's called Quarters. So I'm really hoping that this one is gonna give me that peachy blush look that I've been looking for. So I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. blush brush. Do we see anything? I feel like this product is so soft. It's just a really soft material that it's hard to pick it up almost. But I feel like I'm getting some payoff there. Okay, so I've got a nice peachy blush. I'm excited about that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out the underneath the under part of my eye really quickly. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M508 bullet brush right here and go ahead and smoke out the bottom lash line. I'm gonna go in with Let's Do It right there and I'm going to apply that closest to my lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm gonna go underneath with Ignite which is that medium toned gray right there. And I'm just gonna smudge out this bottom part. And then I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline with the BH Cosmetics Power Pencil Black. I think I'm gonna top my eyes with this uh, paint pot from MAC. This is part of the holiday collection from MAC and I did go ahead and also pick this up when I picked up the foundation stick. Beautiful packaging for the holidays. So these are the Spellbinder shadows in that it's got a magnetic capability to it to where when you touch it, it makes an indentation but I think it goes back to normal eventually. There is the swatch right there. This was the only shade that was different from anything that I had in my collection. So I think I want to just top this right on top of what I kind of already have going on. Just adding to that silvery sparkliness, I guess. What else new do I have? Okay, so I do have this new lipstick from MAC that is also from the Holiday Collection. The shade that I picked up I don't think I told you what shade I picked up in the eyeshadow. This one's called Stars Align. And then the lipstick is called Walk of Fame. This is so beautiful. It's got stars that are raised on top of the lipstick. And then you have that glittery, sparkly effect on the lipstick. So just really beautiful, beautiful packaging and the lipstick is really beautifully done. I know that that's probably going to be a little bit too bold for that lipstick, but somehow I feel like it works. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe BFF lip liner. Oh, that's so pretty. Here is the completed look. I'm really happy with the way everything came together. I think everything came together really beautifully. I think that this is gonna be the perfect look for any sort of holiday event that's coming up or an evening out. At first, I didn't think the lipstick was gonna pair with this smoky eye, but I think that it pairs beautifully for some reason. Let me know what you think. Really, everything that I tried here, I love. The eyeshadows, I think, went on beautifully. This palette was only $12, I believe, and it's 
so good. It's got some amazing shades in here that are in that smoky family. The pigmentation is amazing as well as is the blendability. I didn't see any fallout in these shades. So beautiful, beautiful palette. The foundation stick from MAC I think was really nice. You saw that even though I layered it three or four times that it was still very lightweight, doesn't feel heavy on the face, didn't look cakey. I preferred it with the sponge, but you can use either a brush or a sponge to blend this out. Initially, I thought that it looked too dark, but I think it actually works. With the highlighting of the face, I think it actually looks okay. So I really do enjoy this one a lot. I won't be able to tell you about longevity because I am filming this one in the evening. So I will continue to use this product in the next coming days and be sure to leave you something down below as to what my thoughts are as far as longevity is concerned. But everything else so far, I'm loving about this foundation. The blush that I was talking about from ColourPop, I was looking for something that would give me that peachy cheek flush and I couldn't find anything. And so when I saw this online, as I was ordering the other palettes, I thought I would give it a try. And I'm really happy with the way that my cheeks came out. Um, even though the formula was kind of soft, I kind of had to work my brush into it a little bit, but the end result is really beautiful. So I'm really happy with this. The highlighters from Nabla, oh my gosh, these are so, so amazing. These um, do not look powdery at all or glittery. It just has that beautiful, soft highlight on your skin. It just gives you that glow from within type of look and that glass skin. Really, really beautiful. Every time I look in the mirror, I'm noticing how the light just catches onto those areas. And so really loving these highlighters. I'm glad that I went ahead and ordered them from Ulta's website and had them shipped to the house. I really wanted to swatch these in store and was waiting for them to come in store. But when I saw that they were selling out quickly and, in, and out of stock actually for a couple of weeks when I finally saw these come back in stock, I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and snag these just in case I can't get my hands on them. So I went ahead and purchased these. So glad that I did. These are both amazing. I will be trying Lucent Jungle out on its own soon so I can see how that looks on my skin by itself. So I'll be sure to update you guys on that. The Lily Lashes Mascara, I did want to try on camera for you with the right eyelash curler that I usually use. And you can see that it really fanned my lashes out, volumized them, so it gave my lashes a nice effect. So I really, really do enjoy this mascara and I'm glad I kept it and tried it with my normal lash curler. The shadow in the pot from MAC that's part of the holiday collection, I think is a really beautiful formulation. This formula is not new. I think that they just came out with four shades for the holidays. This is the one that I chose to go with because this is something that I didn't already have in my collection. And I think that it topped really nicely over what I already had from ColourPop. So beautiful, beautiful shadow. I think it's perfect for the holidays and for any other special event. So beautiful packaging. Beautiful formulation, really like this a lot. The lipstick from the Holiday Collection from MAC, also very beautiful. I'm loving the packaging of these and the actual imprint on the lipstick itself is really beautiful along with the glitter. Really nice formulation on the lips, doesn't feel drying or anything like that. I can't tell you about the longevity of it. I think it's just like a normal lipstick. This lipstick does not have a formula type on it. It just says lipstick as part of, as part of the holiday collection. So from what I can tell you from wearing it here in the last hour or so, it feels really nice on the lips. And I think it's a really nice formula and I love the shade of this. I think that about wraps it up. Those were all the new products that I tried today. I really enjoyed all of the new products that I tried. Happy that I was able to get my hands on them and sit down and do this video for you. I hope it was enjoyable for you. Let me know what your thoughts are on this look in the comments down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel and enjoyed this video, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Also hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to know when I do upload my videos. And as always, I love you guys, be blessed, and I will see you guys in the very next one. Bye.